right guys got the 14 apart <clears throat> so radiator on this side here was bent and this little bracket was broken off tried to use some of this stupid welding stuff it stuck really good to this bracket which I cleaned I cleaned both surfaces but it wouldn't stick there but anyway radiator was twisted pretty bad stuck it in the vise see stuck a little crystal wrench right on there and uh, yeah twisted it back so I'm probably gonna just order order another set of uh, radiators um, but I'm gonna have the the kid from work see if he can't TIG weld this real quick should be pretty easy um, yeah he he's got a TIG welder that does aluminum apparently my multi-purpose welder doesn't do aluminum because of the um, AC DC I think it's uh, just AC doesn't have DC um, but anyway this is the welding rod that you heat with a torch um, and I had it clamped so it didn't work so whatever you'll be uh, back from the dunes on moon day so I decided to spray this uh, bearing back here with some WD-40 to try to clean out stuff because I you know sprayed water in there and uh, noticed the weep hole was leaking and I was like well since I'm in here and got it apart might as well do it once so I decided to uh, pull it apart and check it check this out that is a lot a lot of play so guess what we're doing and you can you can see it the weep hole when I spin it right in there you can see it bubbling which tells me that uh, gotta order a shaft bearing uh, basically a whole kit which I shouldn't have ordered the gasket because I can order the whole kit with the gasket but it is what it is um, what I do want to do is I think they plasti dip these from from Honda I'm not 100% sure but I want to say they do because I've seen a lot of the bikes with with them being black and since I can't get all of it off without spending 3,000 hours I think what I'll do is I'll just re-plasti dip this this case um, but yeah you can see it's just it's just plasti dip um, but yeah so that's what I found so far um, you can see more stuff's coming out of that out of that weak hole so Yep, so I'm going to order a set of uh, radiators, water pump kit, got the plastics coming, and I did clean all the parts. I noticed this has a pretty good size groove in here, so I'm going to order, I believe this is the pressure plate. So I'm going to order a pressure plate. <sighs> Yeah, pressure plate, radiator, or set of radiators. Um, and water pump kit. And I think, I think that's all I need because everything else looks pretty good. Um, there's the nut for the clutch assembly. Cover, cleaned it. The bearing so this is a like a just a washer this is a thrust washer the sh clutch shaft um, this is the collar bearing just a little needle bearing and then everything everything else looks pretty good um, I don't see any any issues with any of the stuff inside here um, other than 
it's just really nasty and dirty. So this has an O-ring. O-ring's fine. So yeah, that's what I'm finding so far. Um, yeah, radiator, water pump, and pressure plate. So I'm gonna go in the house. I'm gonna order all that junk. Um, other than that, subframe is straight. Uh, it needs a couple little bolts that were missing, like a uh, is missing a bolt. Back here for the rear fender, it's got one over here. I got the air filter being cleaned, or it's drying right now. Uh, I guess what's left is just peeling all this, all these graphics off. That's what they're called if you don't know. Um, yeah, just peel all this crap up, throw it in that pile. And, uh... Yeah, that's that's it in a nutshell. This radiator has a little bit of a bend in it. It's fine, but if I'm going to get new ones, I might as well just replace it. Anyway, until this bike was sitting out in the sun, um, I'll go ahead and take some stuff to remove all this, and then uh, I'll talk to the kid later tonight and see what graphics kit he wants. Is there even a, a shutoff valve for the gas? Um, I don't know. I don't know what that thing is. A choke? Yeah, I don't know. Fuel injection. But, yeah, I don't really know uh, what else to say about the whole bike. Um, other than, ouch. It looks like they got rid of the sight glass. To check the motor oil. Um, that's a little, looks a little different than my bike. So oil filter is going to be different. Yeah, I'm not sure if these pegs are aftermarket or not. They don't look like it, because if they were aftermarket, they'd have the people's name all over them. That's... Could use a new bearing. Maybe I'll check into getting one of these. Check into one of those. The chain seems good. That's how I test the chain is... I go side to side, because usually if a chain is stretched, It'll basically, it'll basically just ride in the tire. Um, that thing, chain guide seems to be okay. This one, I don't know. I'm gonna look at this one because uh, on my bike, it's a whole channel so yeah and then once I get the air filter on I don't know maybe I'll buy a a little air filter cover so I can clean this whole bike because it needs it needs to be cleaned pretty pretty bad so and I'll inspect the clutch cable because he said it's pretty stiff. Doesn't look too bad in there. Um, yeah. But that's pretty much it. In a nutshell, that's what I've done so far this morning. Cleaned parts, cleaned the case, cleaned a bunch of other junk. Um, and, uh, yeah, just been inspecting everything. Checking everything out. So... That's all I got. That's all I got to say. I did go through two cans of brake clean to clean that out in there. And, uh, yeah. So, 
We'll see, we'll see what parts I get first. I'll update you guys on what parts I get first. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. So I gotta go in the house. And uh, looks like I'm ordering some more parts. Probably another hundred dollars. 70, 170. Probably like 80 bucks for the pressure plate. So that's 250. Yeah, just some odds and ends. So, all right, guys, we'll see you guys on the next video. I'm going to try to see what I can do if I contact Yoshimura or if I just do whatever with this. And uh, I'll just update you as parts come in, I guess. All right, guys, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think of the new project. Because I can't complete a project other than I did complete this project. All right, guys, see you guys on the next video. Peace out. Later.